Howdy, on Scandi Daily, we're going to show you the full demo of the head to toe scan that I posted last week on Instagram. I had some people curious about how that scan worked and I figured I'd do a better setup. So now I've got my phone over there, recording, we're screen recording two different phones. Um, so I'm going to set this to Two millimeter resolution should be good. I've done a few tests. 1.5 is good. Um, I'm gonna go with two. I think we'll get more more body scanned more quickly as well. All right. So just got my phone held like this, comfortably holding the um, thumb on the volume rocker, so I can start and stop the scan easily. So I'm going to stop talking and scan my face. And it's important whenever you're scanning your own face or scanning anyone's face that they don't follow the sensor. You know you really want to look at the thing that's scanning you, but the scan will be much better if you don't follow the phone as it scans your head. If you twist your head back and forth as it's scanning, your scan subject's going to be moving and therefore it's going to be hard to get a good scan. Um, likewise, whenever I'm scanning myself down to my feet, you can see that it's getting a good scan right now because my knees are sitting still. If I start moving my knees as I'm doing this, it's going to be really hard to get a complete accurate scan because the thing we're scanning has moved. So the, the scanning algorithm only works if the thing that it's scanning is sitting still. So you can see that I can like rotate my hand upside down and it's fine, we can keep tracking. Go for it. Just whatever makes you comfortable as you're scanning is what's important so that you're slow, steady, you can recover, see how it lost, but I was able to recover because I'm in a nice stable position. All right, so I'm good with this scan. We're done. And now it's going to generate the mesh. Beautiful, looks great, minus the one arm that I couldn't scan because, you know, it was the one doing the scanning. So here's the scan I just took. It's 93 megs, so I know from experience that I cannot do anything with this until it gets cleaned up. Um, the auto clean should work just fine. That will remove some noise, um, but the crop plane feature, it's gonna crash unless you are below like 65 megs. Um, I found from experience that you really wanna be below 60 megs to be able to use most of the, um, the features in, in Pro consistently. So what I'm, what I'm gonna do, so I'm just gonna go ahead and decimate this down from 72 megs and try and get it to about 55. And hopefully we hit the nail on the head, 50, perfect, love it, great. So you can see I'm overwriting the save every time. Um, and that's just kind of up to you. If you want to make backups of everything as you go, go for it. If you feel confident that you've got the crop you need, then just overwrite it. Um, but I like to do that after operations that take a little while, um, if I'm confident with the output of it, because then I don't have to worry if it crashes or it doesn't have a good output. I've already, you know, had an auto save or a checkpoint. Um, so what you can see here is I'm gonna do a plane crop and I just tried to bring this up to eye level and also flatten it so that I can come up here and crop. Um, I can zoom once it's cropped in. It's a little annoying that we reset your zoom level whenever you go into crop mode. Um, it's, it's a known issue. I'm, we have a we have an open ticket around it. Would like to fix it for you, um, but 
it's a nice to have. It's not stopping anyone from taking good scans, to my knowledge. So I'm going to go ahead and crop that again. And I'm just trying to get like all of the floor out of this because I want to. Crop, 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 crop. Cool. So this is going pretty well. Um, one thing you can do is as you get more and more cropped, you can start angling your crop plane um, based on like what you're trying to cut out. So I'm gonna go ahead and auto clean. And we're gonna do one more crop. Like so. And yes, I would also love more advanced editing tools than just the crop plane, but we haven't had time to work on that yet. And it's amazing what you can do with uh, a plain crop. All right, auto clean again. Great, looking really good. I'm going to go ahead and overwrite and save my progress here. I'm going to decimate this big time, use our updated decimate feature. So this is going to go from a 15 meg file to a 3.1 meg file. Beautiful. Look at those big triangles. Love it. So I'm going to accept that. I'm going to save as a new version. I like to save a high poly and a low poly version. But now that this has been saved, um, I'm actually going to back out. And before I load this into AR, I'm going to make sure that I've got the low poly one because that'll be much better in AR. So um, we can maybe. I don't know where, where we are. Right, right there. Got the coal in the palm of my hand. So that was easy. It was fun. Um, if I wanted to do something um, useful with this, you know, maybe I'm interested in the measurement from my heel to my knee and my knee to my hip. Oh, that's not my hip. That's the chair to the hip. To the shoulder. I'm sure that's a measurement for something. So A to B. New line. B to D, because I missed a point. Hello, Charlemagne. And D to E. So cool. My heel to my knee is um, 21.6 inches so known as um, 54.8 cm. And I've got my handy dandy cooler right here, which we can take a quick measurement and verify that that is indeed what that is. So from my heel, to the middle of my knee it said it was 54.8 which yeah drop that on the ground great job super easy to pick up too flat stainless steel roller um yeah so that's pretty much dead on like that's just human error measurement at this point of where i dropped the point and where it's being measured from so yeah no tricks, no shenanigans, millimeter accurate, as you know, human form can be millimeter accurate. And then, yeah, you can see all that's right there. So if I needed to like give someone my measurements for getting pants made, I could give you that entire measurement, the shirt, you know, anything. It's really, really easy to measure the human form with Scandi Pro. 
So if you've got something you need to scan and you don't have a handy, nice, flexible stainless steel measurer because you didn't go to art school where you had to have lots of measuring tools and some other random stuff, um, you probably have a friend with an iPhone. So use Scandi Pro to take measurements. It's a lot easier and more fun. And then you can also like, you know, drop them into the world and you've got this asset and you can share it on Sketchfab. Um, super easy. Great. Cool. Nice. Well, happy scanning.